I am a pretty rational person, so not a lot of things scare me. I'm not scared of stuff in my closet or in the dark or whatever, since monsters don't exist. I leave my doors unlocked at night because I live in a nice enough neighborhood and I don't have anything that burglars would want to steal to begin with. I'm not afraid of failure either, since, logically speaking, I am a white cisgendered male in the United States of America with an upper middle class family under two parents and a legal guardian, everyone having a college degree. Even if I am a miserable burning trash fire, I will still turn out okay given the nice socio economic system based around the disenfranchisement of people of color and women that my ancestors have built. Thanks, guys. You guys are awful. However, there are two things I am scared of. Wasps and fire alarms. Let me tell you all about them. So I'm gonna set the stage for you. So it's summer 2015. I'm hanging out with two of the coolest people in the whole wide world, Maddie and Fina. You might remember Maddie from giving me the CD in my 21 Pilots video last week. We were hanging out at her house, which is on a cute little plot of land in the middle of some farm stuff. After a fun day of shenanigans and ukulele and whatnot, we thought it'd be fun to wind down and watch the sunset on the pastures of the Idaho horizon. It was a freaking gorgeous deal. We were chilling out on top of an old RV that she had sitting on the side of her garage for like the past 15 years. It was rusty, it was devoured by weeds and cobwebs, it was just pure Tumblr aesthetic. I finished up season one of Life is Strange like a few weeks prior, so I was all over those vibes. I was like, hey Maddie, could I peek inside your RV? And she was like, yeah, go for it. So I leaned over to the air vent and I opened it up and suddenly a loud ringing sound filled the air over our heads. There was a massive wasp nest that covered the entire underside of that vent that hadn't been touched for years. Literally hundreds of wasps swarmed our faces we were them away. Maddie did some Jedi magic and she front flipped off the top of the RV to safety. Fina took her sweet old time scaling the ladder on the back and I'm stuck doing the funky Hong Kong fooey as the wasp bit at me. Once Fina was on the ground, I slid off and I ran right behind her. We were huffing, we were puffing, we were solidly spooked. We relieved our jitters by baking punk cakes. They're like cupcakes but with more demonic imagery. This YouTube channel was started summer 2017 because I was stuck inside my house and I was too scared to leave since the neighborhood had a wasp infestation. Okay, fear number two is fire alarms. In the third and fourth grade, I had a really awesome teacher who I got along really well with. However, whenever we'd have fire drills, she would write down when they were over like an hour long period. So at any point in time during this hour long period, the fire alarm would go off. That meant that my eight year old self was just sitting at a desk having a panic attack waiting for it. And when I say panic attack, I don't mean like you're running the mill Facebook post like, oh, I'm having a panic attack. No, I mean like this is a legitimate having the room spin, your heart is pounding against your rib cage, you're not physically able to breathe and you want to throw up. Like the clinical go to the doctor kind of panic attack. See, this paranoia got so bad that eventually I met with the school principal. He started pulling me from class every month to be the one to pull the fire alarm so hopefully I'd beat the fear out. Um, it was a super nice gesture and all, but it didn't really help seeing how I'm still mortified of them. They're just so loud and sudden. Can't we have like those nice alarms that start quite and then get loud? I mean like the hurricane or tsunami sirens you see in like Japan and Hawaii and stuff. Those guys don't make you jump or anything. Can we just petition for like all fire alarms to be the kind of warm up type? I really like those. It's like watching a horror movie and then waiting for the monster to jump up because honest to God, we could torture terrorists like that. We could just lock these dudes in big white rooms with two fire alarms and then you say, okay dude, at some point over the next 24 hours, these alarms are gonna go off. And then you just leave and then you let him sit in his own anxiety. That is how I feel whenever I catch one that there's gonna be a fire drill happening at my school. It happened today, man. I just blasted my chemical romance in my earbuds to drown it out. My school's comparable to Guantanamo Bay in that regard. Wow, that was a short video. Um, what are you scared of? I'm scared of not being able to finish videos every Wednesday. I might ironically start posting on Thursday from now on. It's, it's a nicer day. Um, how on earth do you do video endings?